hello friends so welcome to to the new training session today so in this training we will see that what exactly mean by the p2 p2 star and s3 timers okay um, and uh, how exactly it is being treated in uds okay so let's start this video okay so let's see this what exactly is the p2 p2 star and um, p4 plus s3 timer as well so <clears throat> in general case we will have a tester and ecu so uh, there will be a request will be sent uh, from the tester side and ecu will send a response okay so there could be any request where uh, we will uh, send the request and um, the response should come within a predefined time okay so it could be so we could have uh, two type of response one is uh, the one could be the pending response and one could be the final response with the positive positive response okay so uh, there could be a couple of cases where uh, we can not send the directly uh, positive response and which will require certain amount of time to process the request so in this in those cases we will send the 78 uh, nrc okay which is a pending uh, response and uh, the other could be the possibility is the directly final response positive response so both the cases whenever request come any of the response either the pending or uh, final positive response any kind of response should come within a predefined time that is called p2 timer okay so if pending response come that is also fine if final response come that is also fine but any kind of response should basically come within a, this p2 timer range so that uh, timer is called p2 timer okay now let's come to the uh, p2 star timer so once we send the uh, pending response then let's say uh, after pending response also it is taking a um, certain amount of time which uh, uh, so still we cannot uh, send the positive response and we will require still more time to uh, send the positive response or a final response so in that case also we need to send <laughs> Uh, again on um, the pending response there could be a multiple pending response we need to send okay so in that case what will uh, like so first pending response then second pending response third pending response so the <clears throat> the time difference between the first pending response to the second pending response that is called p2 start uh, timer okay so we will not talk about the p2 star server or client uh, but we will just in term just define the p2 star timer okay so that is the p2 star so there could be a um, minor margin at the both end at the server and um, client side for the p2 p2 and p2 star <clears throat> but uh, we will not talk about that so generally um in, in both the cases um so it could be around um, depending on the oem it will vary okay so the p2 and p2 star both will vary uh, depending on the which oem you are dealing with okay and <clears throat> once all the pending response is being sent so we need to have a um, timer where we will say that within that time we need to have a final positive response okay so from this point to this point okay so from a first point to this point so that time is called p4 that is a performance timer okay so generally um, uh, if we are not able to send uh, the response within a positive response in that time um, then we need to send the NRC uh, 10 which is general reject but if you are able to uh, send a positive response then we will send it but from that time is called p4 timer okay so within a p4 timer we need to send the final response so that's why we will we have already covered the p2 p2 star and p4 now let's talk about the s3 timer so for the s3 timer we will just uh, talk about the there could be a request so uh, basically s3 timer is called a session um, mm, session timeout timer okay so uh, there what exactly will happen like if we are not um, able to um, retain that session within that time then it will move to the default session so i will give an example here so there is a test that is sending a request uh, for the extended session at um, let's say using the 1003 request and uh, we got a response uh, for that that is successful that is uh, 5003 uh, okay so we now we are in the extended session so at the uh, ecu side there will be a one uh, timer will be started that is um, that is called s3 server timer uh, so it is it will be started and uh, 
before it time out before the time out happen if there is no request being sent uh, from the tester then it, it it is it that is called the session time out or s3 server timeout okay so that uh, timeout is being happened so now if we read uh, send a read request for the active session then we will get the default session though we have set the extended section uh, previously because the timeout is being uh, happened and it has again moved back to the default session so that is uh, the timer that is called session timeout s3 server timer okay so now how to avoid this so uh, that's why uh, we will have a tester present okay so basically here i have shown the what exactly how you can send the test uh, extended session request so 10.03 and 02 is the length by which you can send the request now uh, let's say if you have a case where you are sending the extended session request you are getting positive response for that and um, this timer is being started at the um, here but, but before it expire you are sending a tester present request so basically once it set the tester present request it will reset the uh, s3 uh, timer uh, so it will start it again so again uh, it will never uh, it like that basically timeout will not happen and if you read uh, the active session again then you will uh, be able to uh, see that is in extended session okay so here instead of uh, default you will get extended session okay so that's why uh, we will always use uh, uh, the uh, tester present um, uh, to intermediately uh, send uh, that request so that's why the timeout will not happen and um, we will be keep in extended session as well so uh, i think that's all for this video we will see you in next video